Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Dude, Long Couch here, and we finally made it. We are at the finale of Batman Arkham Asylum. Holy shit. So check it out. There is a Riddler trophy right here where you land after that cutscene. So go ahead and grab that. And let's take a quick look around, make sure that we don't have any snipers loafing about. Those assholes. Looks like we're good. Just a couple crazy people down here, but they're easy enough to deal with. Oh, you didn't see that coming, did you, bitch? Alright, and looks like there's just one more over there. Two showing up on scan, but I don't know where the other one is. Doesn't really matter. Alright, so in here is, uh, some kind of secret. Let's, uh, shove our back up against the door and open this up real quick. <laughs> and just see what we got. To be perfectly honest with you, at this point, it does not matter because I have all the upgrades I want. And this isn't like a perfect run through or anything, so I'm just kind of wasting time here, but whatever. These are the private notes of Dr. Young. I think it's a success. Funding the solved after the unexpected donation from the Joker has also shown a remarkable interest in the possibility of a cure. Once the protein bonding process is finalized, I will. Hmm, interesting. So that's a little bit of backstory there on how Joker got his hands on the Titan formula and convinced Dr. Young to help him out. That's a nice little piece there. Uh, what the hell is back here? I'm just kind of running around like an idiot right now because I don't know where exactly I should be going. That should already have been scanned a long time ago. Yup. Okay, I don't think this is actually the right way. I thought it was uh, we were going to have to go through that intensive treatment door over there, but it seems to be blocked off by plants. So... Alright, let's, uh, let's wrap around the building here and check it out. There's got to be a way through right there. I'm surprised there aren't more snipers out here. I thought they were going to be kind of a... Fixation, I guess you could say, after a certain point in the game, but they don't appear to be. So, okay, yep, I was totally wrong. This is the door we want to go through. Good job, idiot. Door locked? Oh, that's bullshit. Wait. Why would they lock that door and then give us this tunnel right here? Well, whatever. And as you can see from the map, holy god, look at all those dudes down there. As you can see from the map, there's actually a number of Riddler secrets out here in this area that we still haven't gotten. But again, not really worth our time. Not 100% playthrough. So, we're just going to bypass that and head to the end of the game. Hey, what's up, dudes? I heard you guys were looking for a beatdown. Guest list only. If your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Let's see, yeah, A, no, that's not right, that's not right. B, B, Bane. Ah, here it is, Batman. Hey, looks like you're the guest of honor. Give him a big welcome, guys. <laughs> Thanks, that's so nice of you guys. Now, we don't actually have to fight these guys here, but what kind of Batman would we be if we didn't? So... Let's start off with a remote Batarang and see how many we can get. Oh, I only got two. Oh well.
That's right, and we do have the combo batarang now, so we can use that in a combo. Oh wow, I didn't know I was gonna sh throw out three of them. Well, that's good to know. Came at the expense of my combo, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so now these guys are properly beaten. Time to move on. And here we have another situation. We got... How many of these guys are there? Four, eight, ten, twelve... Sixteen guys here that we don't actually have to fight. But where's the fun in that? Now, there are a couple different ways you can screw with these guys. You can use the remote control batarang to knock down the whole line right here. But what I like doing is starting off with a bang. <laughs> and getting as many of them as I can with the explosive gel. And this part right here is specifically why I didn't want to upgrade to that proximity detonator. Because the gel would go off automatically as soon as I put it down. And I wanted to be able to put to uh, put down three of them at once, and then get them all at the same time. These morons have no idea what's coming, so let's go ahead and give them a surprise. Ready? Oh, yeah! All of them! Sixteen guys! Oh, that was great. And now we just ground pound as many as we can. And that's about as far as we're gonna get. Oh, man, I thought I had enough time to counter, but I didn't. Damn it! These guys are moving a lot quicker than they did at the beginning of the game at this point. So you really gotta be on point. Damn it. Luckily none of them seem to have uh, stun batons or knives or anything. It's just a regular old beatdown fest. Let's throw this guy into all his buddies. Because that's fun. Being able to use the Batarangs in the combo now is pretty nice. I do enjoy that. God damn it. Alright. Okay, this is not going great. I gotta get my rhythm back. This should be a relatively easy fight. I don't know why I keep screwing up so much. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Damn it! Ah, I see. I'm only expecting to throw out one batarang, but then he throws out multiple ones, and it screws up my rhythm. There we go. And you get an achievement called Party Pooper for going out of your way to beat up all these guys. That is a lot of broken bones, let me tell you. But it was worth every second. And now we get this weird first-person perspective. I'm not sure why they chose to do it this way. I guess it's more... Uh, what's the word? Cinematic? Engrossing. Are you that? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four. Three. Two. One! That's why he said it would be a blast. <laughs> that silly bastard. I like how I just walked away from an explosion. Like it wasn't any big deal. Goofy clown. 
I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. <laughs> You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby, by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright, two titans and a host of regular dudes. This could end up being somewhat challenging. Oh man, I did not have nearly enough time to get out of the way. Fuck you. Oh my god, this is a really bad start. Alright. Focus up. Focus up. You kinda gotta divide your time evenly between the Titans and the regular guys. Kinda try to manage everybody at the same time. Doesn't always work out to your favor. Oh shit. Ooh, I just barely made that. Okay, here we go. Let's go after this guy first. And use him to take out the little guys. I, th I think you can hit the little guys as much as you want. If you hit the other Titan, you only get like two or three shots in, and then it'll make you get off. Yeah, so it's kind of beneficial to actually go for the little guys first when you're on the Titan. Oh, I didn't realize this other one was down. Alright, let's climb on him. Perfect. Beat that ass. Oh wow, it actually hit, let me hit him a bunch of times. Very good. Alright, Batarang, get out of the way. And let's punch the shit out of him. Oh come on, I hit the counter button. Damn this game. Yeah, it worked that time. And that time. Alright, here we go. Bowling for thugs. Oh man, he came over and slapped me. <laughs> That's alright though. Oh, come on! I didn't even have time to dodge. That was bullshit. Oh hell. Woo! That was almost trouble right there. But I made it. Beat him down! Beat him down! Yeah! Okay, that one is almost done. I'm gonna have to sacrifice my combo here to get out of the way. That's all right. Okay, there's one. This just got significantly easier. You get out of the way. I'm not even gonna try to do a ground pound. Oh, he's gonna throw him at me. Come on, buddy. Come at me. I know you want to. There we go. And I think this will finish him off. Woo! I win. Nicely done, Bats. You deserve a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! <laughs> Oh, Batman. Batman is a real bro. Get away! Here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kiddies! You're trying to resist a change! That's not fair! Come on, get in! So, you wanna play hardball, Bats? Do you? 
your car. <laughs> pickle, pickle. No! Oh, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper. I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it. Giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <laughs> Uh oh. Arkham Asylum remains under lockdown. Its staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham. Joker here. Arkham is mine. Soon I'll unleash madness and toll onto the streets of Gotham. But first, direct your eyes to the rooftops and witness the destruction of your dear dark night we've been circling the tower since this wait there joker is making his move oh dear Alright, we got an upgrade to spend. Who cares? Uh, it really doesn't matter. We'll just do the range. It doesn't matter at all. Alright, ow! Joker Titan, not wasting any time. Ow! Fucking hell! Alright, let's just run away. I don't think there's much we can do right now except run. Excuse me, bats! In you come, boys! I've softened them up for you. All right, and we're back to more regular fighting. Not like we haven't been beating the shit out of these guys all game long, right? But there are a couple wrinkles thrown in here, as you'll see. He's uh, throwing down little presents that have traps and sometimes weapons for his goons and stuff like that. So you do kind of have to watch what you're doing. But... By and large, it's pretty much the same stuff you've been doing the whole game. Now, he will drop in those little Joker teeth thing that actually walk towards you. And they'll get close to you and explode. So basically, you gotta get close to them and then get the hell out of the way before they detonate. But the nice thing is that they will sometimes take out the regular henchmen too. And once we take out everybody and Joker turns his back, hit him with the bat claw. And yank him down. And once he gets stuck, punch him in the face. That's how Batman solves all his problems. He punches things in the face. And then we go back to just running around like an idiot, dodging his stuff. These long ass claws are pretty menacing. <laughs> My people need me. For me, boys. Little did he know that those claws would be his undoing, because that's what gets him stuck in the ground every time you yank him down. Oh, he had a knife. Shit. Alright. 
I forgot about some of the really annoying idiosyncrasies in the battle in this game. The way that, like, sometimes you'll get the symbol to, uh, counter somebody, but it won't actually work because they're too far away. Or, like, they'll act like they're coming at you, but then they actually don't. And it fucks up your rhythm. It can be annoying. Oh, that's gonna blow up on me. Ugh. There we go. Hey, knock down the guy with the knives, too. That's useful. I should probably be using my gadgets a little more, too, during, uh, combat. Oh, that was close. That guy almost got me. Woo! Nailed it. Hey, Joker. Come on down here. Oh, I accidentally scanned. I didn't mean to do that. All right, get his claws stuck and punch him. All right, we are in pretty good shape, guys. Think you can beat me? You can't catch me. I wish I could throw batarangs at him right now, but I can't. Look at my cape. It is all fucked up. Alright. About 18 more guys to beat up. Oh, he's going for a gun! No! Put that down, sir. Alright, that should take him out of commission for a little while at least. Shit. That guy just picked up a stun baton, too. Let's take him out right now, that way we don't, uh, forget about him later. Yeah, let's get out of the way of the... Ah, damn it! I hit the button, but I was a second too late. And that was, uh... That bad claw move takes way too long. Put that gun down, god damn it. So that's what fucked me there. Alright. Oh! Let's uh, let that detonate before we do this. And there we go. Oh, yes it will! Shit, that was awesome. Why can't I do that in the main game? I would love to be able to do that. <laughs> can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. And that's a wrap, folks. Batman Arkham Asylum, developed by Rocksteady Studios. Batman created by Bob Kane. I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and read out all the credits to you. So, wow, what a pimp. You know, bringing in Joker earlier in the night, doing whatever the hell went on for all that. 
going through everything there at the asylum. And then right at the end, he gets a call about Two-Face robbing a bank, and he goes off to stop him. It just never ends. That's one of the great things about Batman, is he just never quits. No matter how tired he gets, no matter what's going on. He's more than a man. He's a machine. Well, he's still a man, but he operates like a machine. So, wow. What can I say about this game that I haven't already said? Um, if I had to pick one major complaint about this game, and I, I think Rocksteady would agree with me, it's that the boss fights really leave a lot to be desired. I would say there's really only one good one, and that's Poison Ivy. And even that one isn't great. It's almost more annoying than it is challenging. Once you figure out the whole deal, it just takes a while to get through. And there's just not that much to it. Uh, you have the Bane boss fight, but he operates almost exactly like a Titan, so nothing really to talk about there. And then basically they spend most of the game just throwing, you know, a handful of Titans at you here and there. They all play exactly the same way. And even like uh, the final boss fight, like Titan Joker is a really awesome enemy. Like the, the story behind it, the design is fantastic. The way his ribs come through his stomach like that, like it just, it looks really cool. But you don't actually fight him. You spend the whole fight fighting the minions. So it's kind of like... They, they probably could have spent a lot more time working on that whole aspect of it. But at the end of the day, that's really my only complaint about this game. My only major complaint. Um, the combat system is so innovative and so satisfying. There have been a ton of games that have tried to ape the combat from this game, and most of them have utterly failed. I think the one that came closest was Shadow of Mordor, which was probably my personal game of the year last year. It did a very good job. But most games that tried to seal this combat uh, didn't really pull it off. And that's because it does take a, a large level of quality and dedication to create something like that. And I, I really feel that like they, they took a great job of taking Batman and translating him and his style into a gameplay system that really did make you kind of feel like Batman. Um, the combat is less about like... Uh, like mashing the button, like furious mashing and wiping everything out on screen and it's more about calculation almost like math you have to have your timing right you have to make split second decisions about who to attack and how to attack them and it actually reminds me of one of my favorite lines from the batman comic books uh i believe it happened in war games volume one i might be wrong about that but it was somewhere in the war games volume when um a character is watching batman fight and she says that she had never seen somebody so large moves so fast and the way that he took out all, all the people he was fighting it was almost like math like it wasn't even a fight for him he was just doing the math and then following through with the math and i really feel like that translates super well to this uh this style right here and you know um the combat in this game is compared to what comes later is pretty basic they really took the system and then they when they went to arkham city they fleshed it out they added so much to it and really perfected it. So I'm really looking forward to going on to that series next. That's going to be the next part of my Batmania, my celebration of all things Arkham, leading up to Arkham Knight on June 2nd. Um, I really hope that you guys will come back. If you've been watching this far, thank you so much. And I really appreciate all the support. I'm going to do Arkham City and also Arkham Origins before Arkham Knight comes out. So we still got a while to go. And the one last thing that I wanted to mention... I talked about this a couple videos ago. There are collectibles in this game called um, the Chronicles of Arkham, where you scan those little, uh, I don't even know what you call them, those little plaques that you find around the game world. And when you find all of them, it forms a story that's being read in the voice of Quincy Sharp, and you don't exactly know who's telling it in the beginning, but basically once you get all of them together and listen to it all at the same time, you find out that it is being read by Quincy Sharp, and he's kind of channeling the spirit of Amadeus Arkham, who is the guy who established the uh, Arkham Asylum. Um, he talks about how his family was actually murdered by a psychotic villain in uh, Gotham, and he established the asylum as a means of helping the city to help cleanse the, uh, the evilness that is plaguing the city. And he actually 
kind of slowly goes insane from all the work that he's doing and all the criminals that he's bringing in. Um, he finds the guy that murdered his family and he brings him in for rehabilitation. And he thinks that he's completed his work and that the guy is sane. And as he gives him a pen to sign off on the release paperwork, the guy actually takes the pen and murders his secretary. And that's kind of the final straw that broke Amadeus Arkham's back and kind of like led him down the path of insanity. And he ended up dying as an inmate in his own asylum. So Quincy Sharp comes along, who I believe is an original character created for this game. And he is the warden of Arkham. And he kind of goes down the same path. He goes crazy and starts to think that he is the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. And he talks about how he's bringing in all these super criminals. He talks about Poison Ivy, Killer Croc, uh, Joker, <clears throat> and how eventually he just wants to start killing them because he doesn't think that they can be rehabilitated. And he wants to find a way to bring all these super criminals together and basically rid Gotham of them once and for all. And that will lead directly into Arkham City. I don't want to get too much into that story just yet, but um, the Chronicles of Arkham is probably the most important side story in this game because, like I said, it leads directly into the events of the next game. So keep that in mind. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. I appreciate the support. And I hope to see you in the next part. I'm going to sign off for the rest of the credits, and I'll be back when they're done. Thanks.
Congratulations, you have unlocked the armored bad suit for use in the challenge mode. Oh shit. Alright, so that was a nice little uh, post credits cutscene right there. Now, I didn't remember this until I saw that just now, but there are actually three different hands you can see come up and grab that uh, Titan formula. We got Scarecrow there, which I think is probably the most appropriate, seeing as he's the main villain in uh, Arkham Knight. But it can also be, and uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it could also be Bane or Killer Croc. I think. I don't, I don't know. You should probably look that up. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I think they left that ambiguous just to be fun. So, whatever. Um, real quick, I just thought I'd go in here and show off some of this stuff. You can come in and look at character trophies. We've unlocked Titan Power Joker. Looks pretty badass. Um, let's see. We've also got Commissioner Gordon. Poison Ivy. Ooh, sexy. I like it. And yeah, there's a lot. We don't have them all unlocked because you have to find all the riddles. Here's the Batman armored suit. That looks pretty sweet. Actually, it looks kind of similar to the suit he's going to wear in Arkham Knight. Like, as the series goes on, it, it becomes more and more like, a, like an Iron Man suit and less and less like just like a cloth suit. You can go in and check out all the character bios, and you can actually listen to all the different interview tapes in here. For the characters that have interview tapes, they don't all have them. The ones with the uh, little film reel symbol there have interview tapes. Harleys are pretty good. It's too bad I didn't unlock all of those. Um, they kind of show her slow descent into madness with the Joker. And that is a thing that will be explored more in Arkham Origins. It's one of my favorite cutscenes in the whole series. So there's those. Downloadable content. This is the Game of the Year edition. So I have all the DLC. It's just some challenge maps. Nothing too crazy. I don't believe there was ever any story DLC for this game, so there's nothing extra for me to cover as far as that goes. And then the challenge mode. I love the challenge mode in this game. It's kind of the bread and butter for uh, when you're done with the main story. This is what you move on to. Um, in order to unlock all these, you do need to find all the riddles, so that's the main driving force in finding all those. Which isn't too terribly hard, because if you find all the Riddler maps, they will tell you where they are. But basically, um, there, there are combat maps where you have to get the high score, and predator maps where they give you three different objectives that you have to do. And you're trying to do all three of the objectives and also get the best time. Which, it doesn't really compare to anything, like there is an online leaderboard. But it doesn't really matter what time you get, as long as you get all three of the objectives, you'll get full credit for doing the map. So, that's basically it. You can continue the story and go in and uh, run around and collect all the stuff that you didn't find before. Um, you can't do a New Game Plus, because starting from the beginning with all your gadgets would kind of break the game. That's kind of uh, what happens in a Metroidvania type game like this, so they don't let you do that. Um... Yeah, that's about all I got for you guys. Uh, I'll say it again. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you back in Arkham City, which will be starting very soon, because I'm on a time crunch. <laughs> I'm Dude Long Couch, and you can check me out at grownersgamers.com. Thanks, guys.